Natural disasters are catastrophic events caused by natural processes of the Earth. They can have devastating effects on human life, property, and the environment. Let's explore different types of natural disasters, explaining their causes, impacts, and how they manifest. 1. Earthquakes Earthquakes occur when there is a sudden release of energy in the Earth's crust, causing the ground to shake. This release of energy is usually due to the movement of tectonic plates, which can either collide, slide past each other, or move apart. The point within the Earth where the earthquake starts is called the focus, and the point directly above it on the Earth's surface is the epicenter. Earthquakes can cause severe damage to buildings, roads, and infrastructure, leading to loss of life and injury. In some cases, earthquakes can trigger tsunamis, landslides, or volcanic activity. 2. Tsunamis Tsunamis are large ocean waves caused by underwater earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or landslides. When the ocean floor is suddenly displaced, it can generate a series of waves that travel across the ocean at high speeds. As these waves approach shallow coastal waters, they increase in height, potentially reaching tens of meters. Tsunamis can inundate coastal areas, causing widespread destruction and loss of life. They are particularly dangerous because they can strike with little warning and have the power to sweep away buildings, vehicles, and people. 3. Volcanic Eruptions Volcanic eruptions occur when molten rock, ash, and gases escape from a volcano. This can happen due to the movement of tectonic plates or the buildup of pressure within the Earth's crust. Eruptions can vary in intensity from relatively mild lava flows to explosive eruptions that send ash and gases high into the atmosphere. Volcanic eruptions can cause a range of hazards, including lava flows, ashfall, pyroclastic flows, and volcanic gases. These hazards can destroy everything in their path, contaminate water supplies, disrupt air travel, and cause long-term environmental damage. 4. Hurricanes Hurricanes, also known as typhoons or cyclones depending on their location, are powerful tropical storms that form over warm ocean waters. They are characterized by strong winds, heavy rain, and storm surges, which are walls of water pushed ashore by the wind. Hurricanes can cause widespread flooding, damage to buildings and infrastructure, and loss of life. The most dangerous aspect of a hurricane is the storm surge, which can inundate coastal areas and lead to significant flooding. Hurricanes are categorized by their wind speeds, with Category 5 hurricanes being the most severe. 5. Tornadoes Tornadoes are rapidly rotating columns of air that extend from a thunderstorm to the ground. They are capable of immense destruction, with wind speeds that can exceed 300 miles per hour. Tornadoes can uproot trees, destroy buildings, and fling debris over large distances. They are typically short-lived but can be extremely dangerous due to their unpredictability and the speed at which they form. Tornadoes are most common in the United States, particularly in an area known as Tornado Alley, but they can occur in many parts of the world. 6. Floods Floods occur when water overflows onto normally dry land, often as a result of heavy rainfall, storm surges, or the rapid melting of snow and ice. There are several types of floods, including river floods, flash floods, and coastal floods. River floods happen when rivers overflow their banks due to excessive rainfall or snowmelt. Flash floods are sudden and intense floods that can occur within minutes or hours of heavy rain or dam breaks. Coastal floods are caused by storm surges or high tides. Floods can cause extensive damage to homes, infrastructure, and agriculture, and they pose significant risks to human life. 7. Landslides Landslides occur when a mass of rock, soil, or debris moves down a slope due to gravity. They can be triggered by a variety of factors, including heavy rainfall, earthquakes, volcanic activity, and human activities such as deforestation or construction. Landslides can destroy buildings, roads, and other infrastructure, and they can cause fatalities, particularly if they occur suddenly and without warning. In mountainous regions, Landslides can dam rivers, leading to floods or the formation of lakes that may later burst and cause downstream flooding. 8. Avalanches Avalanches are a type of landslide that involves the rapid flow of snow down a mountainside, 
They are often triggered by factors such as heavy snowfall, rapid temperature changes, or disturbances like a skier or a loud noise. Avalanches can travel at speeds of up to 80 miles per hour, burying anything in their path under tons of snow and debris. Avalanches pose significant risks to people in mountainous areas, particularly those engaging in winter sports like skiing and snowboarding. 9. Droughts but droughts occur when there is an extended period of below-average precipitation, leading to water shortages. Droughts can last for months or even years, causing significant impacts on agriculture, water supply, and ecosystems. They can lead to crop failures, food shortages, and economic losses. In severe cases, droughts can lead to desertification, where fertile land becomes barren. Droughts also increase the risk of wildfires, as dry conditions make vegetation more flammable. 10. Wildfires Wildfires are uncontrolled fires that spread rapidly through vegetation, forests, grasslands, or brush. They can be caused by natural factors such as lightning strikes or by human activities such as campfires, discarded cigarettes, or arson. Wildfires can cause widespread destruction of property, loss of life, and significant environmental damage. The smoke and ash from wildfires can also have severe health effects on people living downwind of the fire. Wildfires are more common in regions with hot, dry climates such as Australia, California, and parts of the Mediterranean. 11. Heat waves. Heat waves are prolonged periods of excessively hot weather, often accompanied by high humidity. They can last for several days to weeks and pose serious health risks particularly to vulnerable populations such as the elderly, young children, and those with pre-existing health conditions. Heat waves can lead to heat exhaustion, heat stroke, and dehydration. They can also exacerbate drought conditions and increase the risk of wildfires. Urban areas are particularly vulnerable to heat waves due to the urban heat island effect, where concrete and asphalt absorb and retain heat. 12. Blizzards Blizzards are severe winter storms characterized by strong winds, heavy snowfall, and low temperatures. Blizzards can cause whiteout conditions, making travel extremely dangerous or impossible. They can also lead to power outages, roof collapses, and frostbite or hypothermia for those caught outside. The accumulation of snow from blizzards can disrupt transportation, commerce, and daily life for days or even weeks. Blizzards are most common in polar and temperate regions during the winter months. 13. Sandstorms Sandstorms, also known as dust storms, occur when strong winds lift large amounts of sand and dust from the ground into the air, creating a dense cloud that reduces visibility. Sandstorms are common in arid and semi-arid regions, such as deserts where the soil is loose and dry. These storms can cause respiratory problems, damage to buildings and machinery, and disrupt transportation. Sandstorms can travel long distances, carrying dust and pollutants across continents. 14. Sinkholes Sinkholes are depressions or holes in the ground caused by the collapse of a surface layer. They typically occur in areas where the bedrock is made of limestone, gypsum, or other soluble rocks that can be eroded by water. Over time, the erosion creates underground cavities, and when the surface layer can no longer support its own weight, it collapses, forming a sinkhole. Sinkholes can vary in size from a few meters to hundreds of meters in diameter and depth. They can swallow entire buildings, roads, and vehicles, posing significant risks to people and property. 15. Tornado Outbreaks Tornado outbreaks occur when multiple tornadoes form in a single weather system over a short period. These outbreaks can cause widespread destruction across large areas, leading to significant loss of life and property. Tornado outbreaks are typically associated with severe thunderstorms or supercell storms, which can spawn multiple tornadoes in quick succession. The scale of destruction in a tornado outbreak can be immense, with entire towns or communities devastated. 16. Ice storms. Ice storms occur when freezing raincoat surfaces with a thick layer of ice. These storms can cause widespread power outages by bringing down power lines and trees, and they make travel extremely dangerous due to icy roads. 
The weight of the ice can also cause structural damage to buildings and infrastructure. Ice storms are particularly hazardous because they can persist for several days, leading to prolonged disruptions in power and transportation. 17. Hailstorms Hailstorms involve the formation of hailstones, which are balls of ice that fall from thunderstorms. Hailstones can range in size from small pellets to large golf ball-sized chunks of ice. Hailstorms can cause significant damage to crops, vehicles, roofs, and windows. Large hailstones can also pose a risk of injury or death to people caught outside during a storm. Hailstorms are most common in the central United States, known as Hail Alley, but they can occur in many parts of the world. 18. Tornadoes Tornadoes are rapidly rotating columns of air that extend from a thunderstorm to the ground. They are capable of immense destruction, with wind speeds that can exceed 300 miles per hour. Tornadoes can uproot trees, destroy buildings, and fling debris over large distances. They are typically short-lived, but can be extremely dangerous due to their unpredictability and the speed at which they form. Tornadoes are most common in the United States, particularly in an area known as Tornado Alley, but they can occur in many parts of the world. 19. Epidemics and Pandemics Epidemics and pandemics occur when an infectious disease spreads rapidly among a large number of people within a community, region, or globally. While not a natural disaster in the traditional sense, they are catastrophic events caused by biological factors. Epidemics can be triggered by viruses, bacteria, or other pathogens, and they can have widespread impacts on health, society, and the economy. The COVID-19 pandemic is a recent example, causing millions of deaths and significant global disruption. 20. Glacial Outburst Floods Glacial outburst floods, also known as Jokolaups, occur when water trapped in a glacial lake suddenly breaks through the ice, releasing large amounts of water, ice, and debris. These floods can cause significant downstream flooding and destruction. They are often triggered by volcanic activity, ice melting, or the collapse of ice dams. Glacial outburst floods are common in regions with large glaciers, such as Iceland, the Himalayas, and the Andes. Natural disasters are powerful and often unpredictable events that can cause significant damage to life, property, and the environment. Understanding the different types of natural disasters and their causes can help us prepare for and mitigate their impacts. While we cannot prevent natural disasters, we can take steps to reduce their effects, improve early warning systems, and strengthen our resilience to these devastating events. From earthquakes and tsunamis to hurricanes and wildfires, each type of natural disaster presents unique challenges. But with the right knowledge and preparation, we can better protect ourselves and our communities.